did get a better than expected gross domestic product number, but as we mentioned, at least one analyst has already downgraded Twitter to a sell, saying the shares are overvalued. Now, no one can argue that Twitter was a far more successful IPO and first day experience than Facebook's debut, but where does Twitter go from here, and did the underwriters get the price right? And can the retailers, the little guys that Twitter talks so much about, have they even gotten their fingers on this? Well, we need to let you guys know something that we found very disturbing. Twitter refused to give us a Fox Business interview today. Were they afraid that we were the only business network who would ask tough questions? I mean, I don't know, right? Because we were the Fox Business Network, and we were the first business network who ever put them on the air back in 2008. But this was the scene just as the stock went public on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. They're trying not to look hysterical because they didn't want to have a Facebook repeat, but they were all geeked up and taking pictures. I get it. Our producer was escorted away from them. So in their young life, as a publicly traded company, always claiming they think independently, did Twitter allow another business network to tell them how and where they can get their shareholder message out? Nicole Petalides was right there. Robert Gray watching all the action outside Twitter's headquarters in San Francisco. But Nicole, to you first. I mean. In my opinion, absolutely stunning how we were treated, and frankly, not a good sign that this company's ready for the big leagues. Right away, I mean, the first thing that they should have done was it ex accepted a nice interview offer from Fox Business. I mean, I think that we are a leading business network. I think we cover stories fairly, quickly, very balanced manner, and there was no reason for them to say no to us. If they selected to do another network, whether they want to do that, that's their choice, but why, why snub Fox Business? There's no reason for it. I think we would have done an excellent job. It would have been a great interview. That being said, there was a huge crowd, and it was uh, you couldn't get in there. It was untouchable. You had the CEOs in the middle, you, the CEO in the middle, and the execs in the middle, surrounded by traders and uh, and obviously governors and the like here on the floor of the stock exchange. Then some paparazzi, and then a shield by the communications department of the New York Stock Exchange. So it was really, I mean, unless I was going to uh, do some crowd surfing like at a rock concert, it was next to impossible to try and get in the center of that crowd and even try and get some. Comments. So that was their decision for now. I mean, we'll see if they change their mind and try and make a better decision going forward. That being said, we're watching the stop.